Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Hannah and on this channel we talk all things home decor, home aesthetics, mixing high and low with new and old. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing some entryway styles. So if this is something you are interested in watching, please feel free to keep watching. If you haven't already, I would love if you would like, comment, and subscribe. You know to hit that bell button so you never miss a video. And if you're looking for some daily inspiration, be sure to be following me on Instagram at Hannah Naylor. Without further ado, let's get into this video. So it has been a hot minute since I have done an updated entry styling video. I like to do this every now and then to kind of update you know, my playlist as I do have one on my channel of all of my previous styling videos. But as I have been on YouTube, my style has evolved. It has changed. There are things that I'm into now that I wasn't previously. So within this video, I'm just gonna give you some new styles, have some fresh takes on an entryway if this is an area that you are needing some inspiration. I will do my best to link everything I can down below, kind of by style. We're gonna get through this really quick, simple. I'm gonna try to put together four to five styles for you guys. Without further ado, let's get into these styles. All right, so this is style number one for you. I have featured this on my Instagram, and for whatever reason, I'm really loving this style, so I've kept it a lot longer than I typically do here in my home. So we're gonna start from right to left, your guys' is left. This is a beautiful glass vase with some live oak stems in it. These are some stems that I clipped from an oak tree in my backyard, popped it in this beautiful vase, and I just love the organic feel of this. If you have been with me for a while, you understand that I am a firm believer in faux stems. I have so much of them here in my home, but there is truly something special about bringing in a live stem. It is free, foliage is free, natural foliage is free, so definitely take advantage of the outdoors if you are able to do so. Next to that vase, I have two coffee table books with an antique handled vase on top of it. I recently picked it up from a really fun antique shop here in my hometown and just thought this was a really beautiful element to add. As I shift over, I have two more elements in this particular style. I have this picture stand with a really fun landscaped artwork that I got from Hobby Lobby. Now this artwork is really pretty. It's a very neutral, it just brings in your greens, more of your earthier tones, but then it does bring in some warmth with that brass element. So I definitely recommend this from Hobby Lobby if you just kind of need a small piece of artwork to just add to any style. And then next to that, I have three black trio candlestick holders to just kind of play off of the height. That way we have balance, but we have different colors, different elements. We have new with old, and I just really love this style for an all over natural look. So this is style number one. appearance. Starting from right to left, I have a really fun brass candelabra. It's a very tall candelabra, so it really does bring in some height when it comes to any style. Now, typically when I style, I like to do kind of a high, low, high orientation. That is just how I prefer to do it. I know everybody has their preferences on how they like to style, but that is just kind of the, the style that I go for typically. Bringing in that height factor through the candelabra. Behind it is a really fun piece of artwork that I got from Target. It actually comes in a two pack, and I love styling this because it brings that vertical orientation. Again, some height, and it also has a really neutral landscape artwork on it. So it's a really nice piece of artwork to style with. Now, besides that is a really fun terracotta dish, a little bit low profile, and within it are some muted dried artichokes, kind of bringing in texture, bringing in a very light muted color, which is great. It's not in your face, because as you guys see as I step away, it's a very neutral color style. So that's kind of this, the stack of three on this side, and then as I shift over, I have a really fun vintage vessel. This is a wood vessel hand carved from India, and within it are some really fun stems that I actually found at an antique shop. I have been loving these. They were in a little random area of this antique shop. I just, I had to have them. They just bring some, it looks like spring, but it's a very like simple spring, if that makes sense. 
So that's the vessel. And then I did something a little bit different with the style that's next to it. I have two coffee table books on that, and then on top of that are two candles. The same scent, the same vessel, just one is a large and one is a small. If you had to have caught my five decor items styled five different ways, this styling option was one that I highlighted. I love doing this of just bringing two of the same candle of different sizes and pairing them next to each other. But the really fun little thing that I added to this style is I have a itty bitty marble scallop dish that I put some little matches in there as just a way to kind of play off of those candles. And I think this makes her a really fun and interesting style. I'm trying to step outside the box when it comes to my decor, when it comes to my styling, and I thought that was just the perfect little chef's kiss moment to this style number two. in a lamp so so most of us have an outlet in our entryway to have some lighting and I think lighting is really important when it comes to our entryway because for me my entryway is very dark we don't have any chandelier here in our foyer quite yet but I always suggest bringing in a lamp it really does bring in a natural ambiance and a beautiful light factor so I brought in a lamp here to my right and then the next few elements we have two coffee table books I brought in a different color coffee table book that I found at home goods it's a beautiful green color that is going to be on the bottom just bringing in a little pop of green a little pop of color so I think that's a really simple thing to do when it comes to styling your coffee table book as I always say in my videos your coffee table books play a huge part in your overall look and feel of your style. If you have an open page, if you have a certain color you are trying to exude within the style. So this was a really fun book because it's gonna pull in that green from the arrangement that's right next to it. So I have the two coffee table books, and then on top of that, I have one of my beautiful vintage stamps that I got here in San Diego. I absolutely love styling with them because they're just different and they're unique and no stamp is going to be the same from one another. So I have that little cluster here to my right. And then if I shift over, I have a really fun arrangement. I have a really cool concrete vase that I got on Home Depot. And then within that, I have two stems. This is like my go-to right now, my new combination that I've been loving. If you wanted to pull a Cosmo flower into this to make it a little bit more spring-like I think it would play really nicely with these two stems but essentially it is an Italian ruscus and an asparagus bush combined they are the same hue of color but they are very different in texture which makes for a really interesting look so that is my go-to a combination if you want to replicate and then to the left of that green is two candlestick holders that I got on Amazon. They're just a really beautiful deep brass. They have really fun detailing along the wrought iron base of it. And this is just a really fun, clean and simple style. So this is style number three for you guys. for you guys starting from right to left I have these black trio candlestick holders that I constantly style with here in my home if you are on the hunt for something like this these are a really great set I think they're so versatile and will go with really any home decor style they bring another material which is wrought iron they bring in that black element for like some really good contrast and then you cannot go wrong with bringing in some height when it comes to styling these different areas throughout our home now next to that I have a really fun picture that I picked up from Hobby Lobby I constantly style with it here in my home because it's just a really good go-to basic and that is on a really fun easel I think nowadays styling your pictures or your artwork has really become a very popular thing to do whether that is on an easel or on a picture stand we are kind of elevating this decor element with different items on ways to do that so again your easel your picture stands I've seen a lot of different ways on styling pictures but this has definitely become a more popular way now next to that I have a really fun wooden antique spoon I found this at a shop and I just loved it it's a really cool 
different element. It brings a little bit of length to the style. It's a little bit unexpected, which I also enjoy. So that is this cluster. And as I shift over, I have a really cool black pedestal bowl that I recently picked up from Home Goods one day. I walked in and they had this whole cluster of just kind of vintage inspired items and I just loved it. It is a black terracotta. Within that black raised terracotta pedestal bowl, I have a bunch of frosted glass spheres. Now, I really thought these would be interesting when it comes to a style because it's a little bit unexpected, kind of like the spoon. I'm mixing in a different material, mixing in a beautiful glass element. It is frosted, so it is not see-through. And then I'm playing different shapes. So we're bringing in a sphere and we're bringing in different sizes. So I have one large, two medium, and a small, and I think it makes for really cool and different bowl filler and then the last element of this style is two coffee table books and on top of that is a beautiful glass vase with some faux stems in it I touched on this previously on my channel but I think if you are not a real like stem person bringing in your faux stems in a glass vase with some water will make it seem like your your stems are real this is kind of a tip and trick that I have used on my channel for quite some time but I think it's really fun it makes your stems look and appear more realistic however you don't have the maintenance of a real stem so if you do have faux stems just pop them in a glass vase with a little bit of water and I'm telling you it's gonna make a really beautiful and sophisticated look when you are using faux stems. So that is the last and final style for this entryway video. All right guys, and that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this entryway styling video. Like I mentioned in my intro, if you need some inspiration, I have a whole playlist of all of my past styling videos from kitchen countertops, powder bath, sideboard, console, you name it. All of that lives within my playlist. And as we make our way through 2023, I'm going to be updating these styling videos as my style has changed. And my style is constantly evolving as I'm here on this channel. So hopefully you guys got some inspiration from today's video. And until next time, I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here and we'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.